Yeah, man. Greetings, YouTubers. Tis I, your favorite agent on the internet. You know who it is. Timothy De La Ghetto. And we're back once again with your favorite show on the internet. And I know it's your favorite show because you people keep leaving me comments, asking me every day, when's the new Dear De La Ghetto coming out? Hey, shut up. Because <laughs> I do these things when I want to do them, okay? So shut up. I'm sorry, YouTube. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. Um, I just got a little upset. Um, I've been stressed out a lot lately. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on my period. So, um, I didn't mean to yell at you. Just, I, I don't, I don't want you to shut up, okay? I just want you to relax. Just relax. All right, then. Let's get down to business. First things first, uh, to defeat the Huns. <laughs> Big up to, uh, today's shirt of the week provided by Explicit Clothing. As you can see, it's a tree with dollar bills coming off of it. And it says, I stack trees. Big ups to them for helping me keep it funky fresh as always. Here's their MySpace. I'll put it right down here. You can check them dudes out. Let's get this shit cracking. First question. Hey, it's one of your subscribers. Fear me, 33 I was just curious. If you were to go back in time in history, where would you go? And for when you got there, if something had unsettled you, would you change it? And why would you change it? Um, yes. Here's where I would go in history to change history, okay? When I was four years old, I used to stay at this babysitter's in Gardena, okay? And I used to wear those little um, zip all the way uh, pajama suits, the ones that had the feet and the hood. And uh, I had a bunny one, okay? And I wasn't wearing any drawers, okay? Don't ask me why. I didn't like drawers, okay? So she's zipping me up after a shower or a fondling. I don't know what was going on, okay? But um, I guess my penis was out, and she caught my penis in, in my zipper. And then this is a traumatizing event for a four-year-old Asian kid, okay? So I'm, like, crying, screaming, and she has to unzip me, and it, was just, it wasn't a good situation, you know what I'm saying? So if I could go back in time, hop in the DeLorean, you know, great Scott, you know what I'm saying? I'd run back, I'd go, no! And I'd smack my little four-year-old penis out of her hand, and I'd tackle her, and I'd tongue kiss her in the mouth. Question number two comes from CC from NY. NY, I got a new hat, by the way. And don't get me wrong, I love LA, I love Cali, rep the West to the fullest, but the NY logo just looks so much better, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, not important. Um, okay, I'm 15 and my boyfriend is 17. I wasn't a virgin when we met, but he was. I didn't know he was a virgin because I thought since he was older, he would know what to do, but I was wrong. When we finally had sex, it was so bad, I almost stopped him because he had no idea what he was doing. I really love him and I want to tell him, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. Should I tell him and does practice make perfect? Okay, CC, check it out. Um, around the second girl I had ever had sex with um, was only like the second time I had ever had sex with anybody, okay? And I was super inexperienced, you know what I'm saying? But she, she thought it was gonna, I was like dope, you know? So, needless to say, um, I skeeted like super fast, you know? And she was like, what? What happened? Oh my god, that was like three minutes! And I'm like, and it was just so, it's not a good experience, man. It messes a dude up, you know? And don't, if you really love this dude, do not let him go on thinking that he is doing good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there are ways. You could just be like, baby, how about you try doing this? Or it really turns me on when you do this, you know? It really turns me on when you, uh, bite my nipples or shove that shampoo bottle up my ass, you know what I'm saying? Just let them know what you can do to make it better, you know? And I promise you, the more you do it, the better he will get, you know what I'm saying? Like, try some, try some different junk, you know? Like, get on the internet, look up some tips, do it together, watch porn together, get some ideas, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the key to a relationship is communication and lubrication, you know what I'm saying? That's all you need. <laughs> And believe me, in the year and a half that me and my chick have been together, I've improved greatly, you know what I'm saying? Just because we be doing it so much, you know what I'm saying? Especially you're just getting with this dude. In the beginning of the relationship, that's all you do is just have have sex and eat, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be freaking, or both at the same time, I'd eat a, I'd eat a Big Mac off her vagina, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be hungry and a horny, I'd be horn-gry, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's what you do. Buy some Big Macs. Buy some sex books. Communicate. That's all I'm saying. Communicate. Question number three. I am a 15-year-old girl who is friends with this amazing guy, Jared. He has a girlfriend for almost three years. Him and I started to hang out. We started to mess around, blah, blah, blah. We ended up having sex. Now it's kind of like a friends with benefits thing, but I have more than just friends' feelings for him. He says that he wants to be with me, but does not know what to do. Mm -mm. 
His girlfriend treats him really bad and always makes him upset. Sometimes I want to end the sex and kissing, but most of the time I don't because I like him a lot. I'm also starting to think I'm in love with him. What should I do because I'm starting to feel really hurt? Jasmine, a.k.a. Exotic. Well, Jasmine, a.k.a. Exotic, first of all, what are you doing? I mean, you should not be getting this involved with a dude that has a girlfriend. I mean, to tell you the truth, if you really wanted to mess with dude, dude, I mean, you know, bone him a couple times, leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? He has a girlfriend of three years. It's highly unlikely that he's all of a sudden gonna be, like, leaving her for you. Let's, let's put the girlfriend thing aside for now. Let's just say you are having this friends with benefit situation, okay? From my experience, no matter how good you think it may be going, it, 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 it's not gonna work out because unless you have really good communication in the beginning like look we're having sex that's all it is I don't want anything else you know what I'm saying because somebody always catches feelings and that's just how it works like it's sex you know it's intimate and he's been with this chick for like what three years it just seems to me like he has his main dish and you're the macaroni and cheese, you know what I'm saying? And, and I don't doubt that it's really good macaroni and cheese. You know, it, it might be so good he's getting seconds and thirds on this macaroni and cheese, but I, I, it's my professional opinion of not having expertise in anything that he is just basically trying to get some side sex from you. You know what I'm saying? I really doubt that he's going to break up with his chick for you. Unless, you know... This is love and this is like, this is like that macaroni and cheese that you just really, really want. And if that's the case, then tell him to dump her ass and make a decision and get with you. Because if this is love and this is what you deserve and what you want, then he will easily break up with her. It shouldn't be a thing, you know what I'm saying? Until then, you shouldn't put yourself in that situation because you're going to end up hurt regardless. So leave him alone until he leaves that chick and then just do your own thing, you know what I'm saying? L love yourself. You don't deserve that. Do you. Question number four. I'm an 18 year old senior and I'm about to have my prom in two weeks. My friend is going to have a huge party after the dance and I'm thinking maybe that this would be a good time to have sex with my girlfriend. If this does happen, it will be both of ours first time and I kind of want it to be special. You know what I mean? So should I or should I not go for it? Thanks, Patrick. Um, let's see. Prom, I mean, I was a virgin prom night too, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and it was fun, you know, I was prom king and we had a good time, danced it up or whatever. But like, so my prom date, I think she was down for the pound, you know what I'm saying? But she felt the condom in my pocket. This is what I heard from other sources. And since I expected the sex, she didn't want to give it to me. So we ended up just getting some dumbass Taco Bell that night. And I really wanted some fish tacos, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, vagina tacos. You just make sure that this is what you both want and make sure that, that everybody in the relationship, you and her, make sure you guys are ready, you know what I'm saying? Because your first time is, is a big deal. Like, you can't take that back, you know? Your first time is, is, is the special time. Like, you always look back on that. You're like, yo, this is my first time, you know? Like, I mean, after the first time, hey, you go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Bone some fat bitches and some ugly bitches, go crazy, you know? But this is first time, this is gonna be special for the both of you. So I just wanna make sure you should communicate, make sure, you know, this is what everybody wants, and if it is, you know, then, 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 then make it special, you know what I'm saying? Like, do, do some, do that cheesy shit. Get some flowers, get some candles. Um, you know, make sure you've got somewhere private and it's not like a whole bunch of drunk ass, dumb ass kids, um, banging on the door while you're trying to like deflower your chick, you know? And, 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 oh, get some condoms because the last thing you want is to get that chick pregnant when you're supposed to be going to college and, you know, um, having sex with other chicks, you know? Um, <laughs> Just make sure you talk to her and make sure everybody is ready and and, and, and shaven and disease free and uh, make sure you smell good and uh, make sure you don't have any uh, growths on your penis and make sure your breath doesn't stink and um, make sure you do a little cardio beforehand <laughs> and um, good luck and um, have fun at prom man. And on that note, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Dear De La Ghetto. Have a great night. Um, wrap it up. And um, thanks for watching. Peace. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.